Well, this is my first video since all of this crazy pandemic coronavirus stuff has gone down. I'm not really sure how to go about YouTube videos now. Um, I'm just gonna do my best to try to be as uplifting and positive as possible, honestly, for this kind of weird time frame that we're in. It doesn't really feel right to come at you showing you how to put on, you know, glitter eyeshadow, which I've done in the past, to go to a New Year's party, because let's be real, nobody's really going to any parties right now because of social distancing. But I don't wanna give up on this channel. I don't wanna give up on all of my followers, you know, on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere else, because this, these types of social media platforms is kind of what's getting us all through the day right now because we can't get out of the house. So I just want to make a commitment to all of y'all that are watching that I'm still gonna come up with some fun, impactful videos. I'm gonna to attempt to make them really short. I am not known for being, um, I'm known for being more long-winded, let's, let's be real. But I'm gonna to try to make my videos more short, impactful, so you can get in, get out with some, you know, something throughout your day, maybe something to distract you from homeschooling like I've been doing. Um, I'm homeschooling three kids right now. And you know, we're us moms, you know, are gonna need a break. So that's what I'm gonna come at y'all with is some videos on some practical beauty tips because even though you're not going to parties, you're not going to social gatherings right now, or you shouldn't be, um, we are all doing a lot of FaceTime right now. I know I am. I'm doing more FaceTime now than I ever have as an adult just to kind of interact with my girlfriends and family members and everything. And for me, I, I don't wanna sit around the house with no makeup on. Now, am I getting all glammed up? Probably not, but I wanna look the best I can. So that's the kind of videos I'm gonna start bringing to y'all. We're gonna keep the mood lifted because makeup is still fun. Makeup is still available. You probably have to order it. Um, but the first thing that I'm gonna talk about today, because we're gonna get it right into it because you might have other stuff to go do around the house, more DIY projects. But this idea came to me because I knew I was gonna do this video. I didn't wanna put, put on a full face of makeup, as you can see right now. Um, and I went for my favorite at Cosmetics CC Illuminating Cream. And as you can see, it's pretty much almost all done. Now, I do know that I could order another tube of it, and I do love it. But for right now, I have a lot of products laying around my bathroom, here in my office. You know, this is my office not looking as great as usual because, let's be real, I don't have any clients that I can work with face-to-face -face right now. That doesn't work with the whole social distancing thing. It's really impacted my business. It's impacted my office and how, you know, it looks. I've just kind of been like, well, nobody's coming in today. They're not gonna see it. So that's why the trash can's really full. Um, but that's real life. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I wanted to put this on, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all how you can make your own. It's not really a CC cream, more of like a tinted moisturizer. I do love this illuminating version of the It Cosmetics um, CC cream. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own illuminating tinted moisturizer. And here's all you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a vessel to put it in, to store it in. I actually used this old Charlotte Tilbury jar of the Magic Cream that I loved, very expensive, but I had used it up completely. I had bought it in December, um, but now I'm going to use it to store my homemade tinted moisturizer in. So find some sort of vessel, it needs to be small. Make sure that the top closes well. Um, then you're gonna need, obviously, a moisturizer for tinted moisturizer. I used this Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream, love it. I used it in my kit. Obviously, you can see it's had a lot of love, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it up instead of just keeping it out, you know, so I'll use the rest of it. Then you're gonna need an, um, a foundation. This L'Oreal True Match Foundation, it's awesome. It's a little dark for me right now because it's not summertime, but this is the W4 that I was wearing in the summer, um, but I'm gonna make it work because I'm gonna thin it out, sheer it out with the moisturizer, so I'm gonna give it new life and be able to use the rest of this. Last two things you'll need. You'll need a highlighter. I had this little highlighter that never got any love, never really used it. It's kind of like a sheer nude champagne color, so it's really neutral, which is what you're gonna need for your tinted moisturizer. Nothing too off the wall dark or colorful, um, but I'm gonna use this old e.l.f. Cosmetics highlighter that never got used. And then lastly, something to mix it up with, this is a baby spoon. Use whatever you need um, to mix it up like you would in science class. So really all I did, since it's already made, I'll just kind of talk you through it obviously clean out your vessel really well before you start mixing things in it. You're gonna add your moisturizer. I started off with equal parts moisturizer 
and foundation. Then kind of just mix it up until you see if it's the right consistency, if it's the right, you know, how thin you want it, how sheer you want it. If you want it more sheer, add more moisturizer. If you want it thicker, more coverage, add more foundation. And then you just take your powder highlighter, whatever it is you wanted to use, take your little butter knife, take your spoon, just kind of rake off the highlighter into the vessel, mix it up with the moisturizer and the foundation. You don't need too much of this, just enough to give your skin a nice illuminating quality. Literally mix it up, apply it how you wish. You can apply it with your fingers. You can apply it with a sponge, whatever you want, but just play around with it until you get it the right consistency. I have mine on right now. As you can tell, my skin isn't completely flawless. I don't have any concealer on either, um, but you know, it looks better than it would if I just went bare faced. So this was actually really fun to make. And I think it's a really good idea to use your resources, whatever you have around the house, instead of buying something new, we're all pinching pennies right now. Um, so why not use some older products that haven't gotten any love and give them new life, which is what I did here. So that's it for today. Your own DIY illuminating tinted moisturizer. I hope you found this helpful. I hope it'll give you something fun to do around the house, um, to be able to use old products, give them new life. And I will definitely be back with another video to kind of take your mind off of everything that's going on right now and to, just give you something fun to do around the house, little science projects, but also make you feel beautiful on the outside, which we all still really need to focus on. Thanks y'all. See you on the next video. Oh yeah, look at him. Dogs don't have the care, care in the world. And thank goodness we don't have to quarantine ourselves from our dogs. Right, Taco? I mean, it's a dog's life. <laughs> That's it.